This is Brett's idea of high country hunting. That's right. We even got Brighton with us. Scouted it out and dreamed it for weeks. Yep. And Brett's dreaming on shooting a bear on the other side of this mountain and if a mule deer shows up on the way, we'll see what happens. I wouldn't be surprised if the bear showed up right over here. Yeah. Lots of huckleberries up here on the top. I wouldn't like it to eat all of our huckleberries. You don't want them to eat all your huckleberries? They're all for huckleberry milkshake. And you told me to pick lots of huckleberries. <laughs> yep. out there a good little distance. Uh, not enough. I don't... Here we go! We got one! <laughs> yeah! Uh... <laughs> it's a good one too! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got off! Dang! First cast. He looked like a big one too. First no, cast, to quick, and boom! He got off! How was that? See it again. All right, let's try that one more time here. Here you go. Reel in. All right, buddy. What do you think of that? <laughs> He's a nice one too. Oh yeah. Just a second, just a second. Just cut. You don't you don't have to reel all the time. He's a nice one. Yeah. Nice big cutthroat. Okay, buddy. Let's... It's a big one! <sighs> Look how big that one is! Okay, get a hold of him. Let's show Whoa! Show everybody how big he is. Look at that! That sucker. You gonna let him go? No. Nope. You wanna keep him? Yeah, let's keep him. Okay, let me get the pliers. Our first trout, huh, but buddy? He's a nice one. Okay, let's get this out. We'll knock him out. And we'll gut him. Did you bring your knife? We'll have to gut him when we get back to camp then. Yeah, we'll have to gut him by the water. We're just going to have to gotta... knock him out and put him on a rock. Yep. Okay, here we go. He had a nice bite. Woo! He's, in... He's still alive. I think we got him there. Let's rinse him off and you can get a picture and photos. Hopefully we can get up here and glass them up. Brett spotted a bear. Nice one. Clear up here in the top. We're gonna go get them after we get them on film. Just check them out. Are you on him? I'm on him. I just don't know if I want to shoot him. Is he a shooter? I mean, he's a medium sized bear at the least. Here, check him out in this. Dang, he looks big from here though. Looks real big. Let's see. Okay. How many minutes? Nope, he's a big black bear. Probably the same one we saw tracks in the trail. It's getting ready. It's 300 yards. Yeah, it's a big old black He looks like a good one to me.
You on them? Yeah. If he turns the other way, he's perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh man, he's getting back into the trees. He's heading back the other way. Okay, as soon as he gets to a good clear, No, I'm not concerned. He's gonna go behind the brush, he's probably gonna come out again. That brush is saving him. Look at him eat the huckleberries. That's great footage. Hold on, let him clear that brush. Yeah, clear, clear the brush. Go. Wait, wait till he comes from on the other side of that tree. Yeah, you got him. Good job, Brett. Oh, first there. Came back up. Go oh, he's go. He's up, he's up, he's on the run. Oh, yes, that was great, Brett. That was good. Oh, he's down, he's down, he's down. In a clear spot with the hugberries. Yes, good job, Brighton. Give me five, dude. Yes. Oh, we, oh, he's coming down. He's coming down further. Yeah, oh yeah, he's, 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 uh, he had blood coming out both lungs. Oh, man. kind of had to shoot him on the run. Yeah. He was, like, moving. He was going to get away. He saw us, and he, he heard the people, and he's like, oh, I'm getting out of here. But you got him. Yeah, I see him. Is he in that? He's like in oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. Yep, that's him. Good job, Brett. Thanks, man. He's a good bear, too. When he was on the run, you could tell that it wasn't one to let go. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. He's like a camp eater. <laughs> yeah. What like yes, do we have to kill is a mule deer for Brandon, and that's it. We're almost tagged out, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're going to have to get the meal deer in the morning. Yep. Let's go to get this bear and get some awesome photos. High country bear. Good job, Brighton. There he is. Yeah, he's a big one. Yep, Chuck's at the bottom. He lift his head up. Oh, jeez, he's a toad. He's a wild man. Yeah, he's a pretty big bodied bear here. Nice job, Brett. Glad you decided to take the shot. Yeah. He would. 
If he wasn't a problem now, he was going to be. I think he's going to roll down. Clean him up. Photos. Jeez, look at that. Oh, yeah. Everything worked out just according to plan. Came up here to this new spot, scouted out on the maps, and ended up uh, getting a grouse for Brighton on the way in, catching some cutthroat at the lake we camped at. We haven't even spent the night yet, so we figured we'd come up to the to the ridge and glass the basin on the other side. We didn't even make it over there. There was one feeding along on our side of the ridge, eating huckleberry brush. Real good one. Good specimen for this area. We're real happy with him and shot him with a gun modified by Whaley Precision 300 Ultra Mag and 260 yard shot. I really don't like taking him on the move, but he was moving out and it was kind of a now or never shot, but it was a good one. It hit right where it was supposed to. We plan for the long range and we're happy when they sh show up shorter. But anyway, it worked out even better than planned. Taking care of some predator control down here in the low, low zone. Uh, that's kind of what we want to do. Help elk herds rebound and did see some mule deer tracks we'll see if we can't find brandon a mule deer to go chase uh, probably tomorrow so we're having a pretty good time up here it's second of september and it feels like middle of july <laughs> it's, it's been a good time though it's been a real dream of a of a backpacking trip so far we're only about three miles from the from the trailhead. That's that's far enough, but I kind of thought I was gonna have to work a lot harder for him. Yep, we got lucky and found a nice big easy one for us. And wasn't very easy, but just easy enough we could come up here and make it happen. So it's what we practice for and go out as much as we can for opportunities like these. Yep, these. He's a good one. We'll get him all taken care of and packed back to camp and we'll probably be heading back a day early now because it's yep. a little too hot to be leaving meat out here in the woods. We kind of need to get him back, get him back to a cooler and get him, get him processed up. That's all right. We came and did what we planned on doing and if we got it done a little bit early, well... Uh, that doesn't happen very often. <laughs> <laughs> yep, usually we're struggling to get it done, and this time we we're able to just come up on the right day and make it happen. And sometimes that's all it takes is just being at the right place at the right time. And here you are. Yep. Got uh, archery elk opening next weekend, so as far as bear is concerned, uh, this is the only week it was going to be a priority, and then it switch over to elk. So. Good chance to get one done. We'll see what we can't get done during the archery season. What do you think, Brighton? Your first bear that you've been been with when we've got? Yep. Lucky five-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get him taken care of.